Rotator cuff tears are really, there's not to oversimplify, but there's probably two different types where one is the sort of chronic degenerative tears that we see in 60, 70, and 80 year olds. At the other end of the spectrum are these partial thickness rotator cuff tears that, that overhand athletes get. And that's swimmers, baseball players, volleyball players, where the rotator cuff just based on how hard it has to work during these repetitive overhand motions, uh, just starts to get beaten up and, and starts to fray and partially tear. The rotator cuff tears that we see in, in overhand athletes, such as volleyball players, swimmers, baseball players, are, are oftentimes related to a, a mechanical issue, and, and that mechanical issue is, is the overhand motion. So throwers have to put their arm you know, sort of way back to throw. Swimmers are putting their arm in that same position. Volleyball players, when they're serving, they're putting their arm you know, sort of way behind their head and then trying to accelerate it very quickly, and then it has to stop very quickly also. So to do that, it's really the rotator cuff that's, that's kind of the powerhouse of the shoulder, and it sees the most stress. So they really need that to be firing perfectly. They need all the other muscles around the shoulder, the, the, all the muscles that attach to the scapula, even the core, lower extremity, all these things have to be firing sort of in concert perfectly to minimize the stress of the shoulder to prevent these injuries from occurring.